Hello guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov. I'm the Photoshop artist. Welcome to my studio. Today I'm super excited to share with you my favorite features of June 2020 update for Adobe Photoshop. Guys, I can't wait. So let's start. I have opened Adobe Photoshop and also I have opened this document. This document has two layers. Top layer is this girl against the white background and bottom layer is my flower I took um, using uh, my uh, iPhone. What I would like to do right now, I would like to remove this white background to position uh, my uh, subject against this uh, beautiful green flower. As any photographer, as any retoucher, as any photo compositor, we all having trouble to select um, any hair with only one click. But now we can do it. Why? Because Adobe introduced select subject with portrait power. Yes, yes, yes. Select subject with portrait power. Yeah. So how can we how we can do it? I will um, select select subject um, tool from my toolbar. In the options bar, I will click on select subject. And this is only what I needed to do. Photoshop selected um, my hair with only one click. Now I will click on select and mask workspace and look at this. Let me switch my view mode to black and white. Look at this guys. Look at the edges of her hair. How perfectly Photoshop selected everything. And let's be um, honest. This image is not too easy to work with because she has very beautiful big hair with a lot of, with a lot of uh, flowing away um, hair strings. So it's very difficult to select, but Photoshop did it for me. If I would like, I can uh, adjust it. How? I will switch to onion skin. I will click on refine edge uh, brush. I will bring size of my brush down and I will simply brush out edges of her hair. Look at this. It's, this is only what I needed to do. Look at this. Guys, with only one click, we selected our main subject with this beautiful big hair. What I will do right now, I will check uh, decontaminate colors, a box just like that, and I will specify output to new layer with a layer mask, and I will click OK. And a look at this, guys, with only one click. Yes, we did it. So, guys, go and try it. new select subject with portrait power. You will love it as much as I do. Yay! And now we will talk about my another favorite feature in June 2020 update for Adobe Photoshop. Guys, I have opened this uh, image of a beautiful roster with a yellow background. And my client gave to me this image and asked me to create entire project based on this image. So my client wanted uh, to use uh, colors, same colors. Uh, my client wants to create patterns and a shape using uh, only one image. How can I do this all using only one image? It's easy. I have opened my Creative Cloud library and at the bottom of Creative Cloud library, we have this plus icon. I will click on it just like that and I will click on create from image just like that. And look at this Photoshop opened um, create from image workspace. Let me expand it just a little bit for you. And from this workspace, we can create patterns, colors, color uh, themes and gradients. But we will talk about this later on. What I would like to, uh, to do, I would like to start with shapes. I will click on shapes tab and Photoshop will redirect me to shapes workspace where I can create uh, my shape uh, out of uh, my image. So look at this. Photoshop created already this perfect shape for me. If I would like to bring more or less detail, details into my image, I can do it. If I will move my detail slider all the way to the less, I will have less all the way to the left, I'm sorry, I will have less details in my uh, shape. If I will move detail slider all the way to the right, I will bring all details into my shape. Guys, I will recommend you to be very careful with moving your uh, slider, uh, detail slider all the way to the right, because sometimes less is better. 
So I will move my slider, detail slider somewhere in the middle, about 22. Also, guys, we have invert um, uh, feature. If you will enable it, you can you also can bring less or more details into your shape. It less details, it's more details. If you will um, enable your invert um, feature, you will save your shape with this black background. What I would like to do, I would like to um, have only shape of this roster without any background. So I will enable my um, invert option and I will move my slide detail slider back to somewhere around maybe let's see about 31. Also, we have smooth or uh, safe feature. If you will enable it, Photoshop will smooth all uh, lines um, uh, during um, uh, saving your uh, shape. I will not enable this uh, option right now because I this is a roster and I don't want to have all smooth uh, lines in my roster. After I'm happy with everything, I can click on save to create a cloud library and Photoshop will save your shape in a, your active Creative Cloud library. I have opened my June 2020 library. If I will click on Save to Creative Cloud library, Photoshop will save this um, um, roster shape to my uh, cre uh, June 2020 library. If you um, have um, unwanted um, details around your uh, roster around your subject and you want to remove it simply click on a eraser tool and you will be able to um, erase all uh, unwanted details so this is how easy we can create a shape inside adobe photoshop now let's talk about patterns i will click on patterns um, tab and I will be redirected to pattern workspace where I can create different uh, if I will say thousands of different shapes based on one image you will um, never believe me but I hope you will believe me so first of all you can change uh, your uh, pattern type uh, you can switch between uh, five uh, uh, five of them it's up to you um, I will click on first one and guys you can scale your uh, image you can scale your pattern uh, look at um, preview window if I will move my scale slider uh, start moving my um, scale slider to the right I will um, uh, make my uh, roster bigger look at this so i will create my pattern um, based only on my roster a uh, wing if i will uh, scale my roster size down i will create my pattern um, based on uh, my roster and also based on yellow background around this uh, roster so guys it's up to you um look different um you can create thousand thousand different patterns based on one image and do not forget about a rotation button so you can preview everything in preview window look at this different different um types of a pattern based on one image guys this is simply awesome um let's see what i would like to create today i will click and i will create this uh, pa um, pattern just like this mm, yes just like this it's very beautiful pattern i will click save to creative cloud library and once again photoshop will save this pattern to my active creative cloud library now let's talk about color seams how can uh, how uh, how i can create color uh a color seam based on my image of course i can use eyedropper tool and blah 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 but i can do it much much easier so i clicked on color seams and photoshop redirected me to color seams a workspace and look at this photoshop did the job for me again if i disagree with photoshop and i would like to adjust my colors i can do it as well example i will click on this um color and photoshop will select color stop for me i will click on this color um, icon color stop icon and i will move it um, on top of a color i would like to use instead just like this and look at this and if you will um 
look at your uh, properties panel you have all colors and numbers and you can switch between um, colorful bright and um, many different types of color it's up to you after uh, i'm happy you happy with everything click save to creative cloud libraries and again photoshop will save this um, color scene to your uh, active creative cloud library now let's talk about gradient gradients you can use with everything in your painting in your design workflow in your retouching workflow you can use it pretty much with any single project I will click on gradient and yes photoshop redirected me to gradient workspace where again photoshop create uh, um, a gradient based on my image for me if i'm happy with everything i will click save to creative cloud library but i'm not happy with photoshop decision right now i would like to create smooth transition between my colors if you will look at the properties panel, you can see that you can increase gradient stops. Just move gradient stops slider to the right and you will in increase gradient stop to 15. If you will move your um, slider to the left, you will have only two uh, color stops. It's up to you, depends on your image. I will uh, specify color stops uh, to, to number three. And now, guys, I can adjust my, um, no, you know what? I will specify gradient stop to four. Now I can adjust my gradient. I will click on this um, color stop and I will move it, example, to here, just like that. I will click on this and I will move it here. And now, guys, I have kind of a um, very nice and smooth um, gradient. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe I will adjust this one. Yes, just like that. And look at this. And now I have seamless gradient created out of my single image. And again, I will click um, Save to Creative Cloud Libraries and voila. Photoshop will save same um, my uh, gradient to same Creative Cloud Library. I will close my create from image workspace right now and um, what if I would like to um, add uh, my um, pattern I just created with you double click on pattern and Photoshop applied a pattern to your uh, active document and also guys you can um, specify scale size for your uh, pattern I will do about 12 because no 12 too much uh, 9 because i would like to show to you something and yes 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 now guys we have angle we can rotate our pattern just like this look at this how awesome is it guys it's absolutely amazing and i will specify a path scale to seven just like that click and now definitely guys i can do whatever i want if you notice guys um photoshop applies your gradient uh, to your create uh, to your active document with a layer mask already you can do anything you like what i will do maybe i will change um blend mode <laughs> just something like this <laughs> look at this guys this is my second favorite feature in adobe photoshop um june update now let's talk about my another feature favorite feature now in adobe photoshop in camera raw we have you as part of our local adjustments yes 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 let me show it to you i have opened my image i took last year during our vacation i love this image but we have all identical uh, boring umbrellas i would like to uh, use different colors for each umbrella how we can do it easy I will click on filter and I will ask Photoshop to convert this layer to smart filter just like this. Now I will click on filter menu one more time. I will click on camera row filter. First of all, I would like to bring your attention that now we have a different UI in camera row and I love, love, love it. I love it a lot. I will zoom in my document to um, see my first umbrella. I will click on uh, adjustment brush. I will increase size of my brush and I will paint over this umbrella. 
if i will do not do accurate a job i'm sorry guys i just don't want to keep you here longer than it's supposed to be after i painted over my first umbrella i will scroll down my selective edit panel and look at this here we have you i will click on my color stop and i will move my color stop to um, the color i would like to use just like that i uh, will uh, fix unpainted areas just like this and now i will increase saturation and i will make uh, my color warmer just like that and again guys um, um you can do better job than i do now i will switch to hand tool i will move my document to preview my second umbrella i will click on create a new adjustment just like that and i will paint over my second umbrella and yes um camera raw remembers the last setting you used so i will paint over my second umbrella and again i'm sorry for not too perfect job you can do better job and i will scroll down my uh, selective edit uh, again and i will pick another color just this green color if you like you can adjust um hue saturation sharpness you can do anything you like i will switch to a uh, hand tool one more time i will move my document i will click on create a new adjustment and i will paint over my third umbrella after i paint it over it i will click on a um, color um, stop in hue and i will move to maybe to this very nice blue color and i will paint fix my uh, umbrella just like that again guys you can do better job than i did if you would like to uh, fix uh, area you painted um outside of your umbrella switch to eraser tool bring size of your brush down and erase it after i'm happy with my colors i will click ok and look at this now i have more interesting interesting uh, image my umbrellas in bright um a color different colors and i love it a lot you can uh, paint over um your uh, trees uh, you can uh, paint over um uh, this porch you can change color of anything you like so guys thank you so much for being with me i'm super happy i'm super excited about new um update a uh, june 2020 update for adobe photoshop um download this update and start using it right now super super helpful thank you so much guys and i will see you later bye